Hello there, bloomers and friends. Rev Kev coming to you from the Bloom office. You know, if I didn't have the red shirt on again, you probably wouldn't recognize me. You'll notice the new look, uh, the bald and clean shaven look. Uh, some folks already know why that was or why that is, um, but uh, or why that was done. Uh, if you were at the um, All Saints Halloween party uh, last Sunday night, you know that uh, uh, the Adams family paid a visit and yours truly was turning in an electrifying performance as Uncle Fester, complete with a light bulb uh, that lit up when I put it in my mouth. That's uh, the secret that I will not divulge how that happened. Um, it was a great party and we are very grateful for Tim Holmeyer uh, welcoming us to his home like that and being such a gracious host. We very much appreciate that each year and the bit of a financial boost and assist that it gives to Bloom as well as the opportunity to invite some friends to be a part of the uh, celebration, the social time. Uh, it's, it's just a good time to be together. These are days of uh, exciting events here at Bloom. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, we are sponsors, partial sponsors and participants in the uh, annual candlelight march against bullying and hate in honor of George Zander's memory. Bloom has been a part of this since the beginning of that particular event. Starts at six o'clock tomorrow night, meeting in La Plaza downtown. We hope that people will come with us. It's about an hour long, a few talks, and then we w have a little bit of a walk through downtown, it's it's uh, it's it's a very meaningful time, uh, and uh, we we appreciate being part of that every November first, which is the anniversary of the hate crime that occurred that injured George and his husband, um, and then it is unfortunate that within a year George passed away. Uh, there there isn't a correlation to the injuries, although some people think that there is, but. The situation is that this uh, annual event is something that we participate in and, and enjoy. Friday night is the annual Interfaith Shabbat service, Pride Interfaith Shabbat that Bloom started with Temple Isaiah. We look forward to your participating in that at 6.30 and then something entirely new that Bloom is sponsoring and we're grateful for the leadership of Rich Flickling for this, that uh, we are hosts of the Shower of Stoles, which our 100 uh, stoles from the thousand or more collection of stoles from clergy and other religious leaders who were denied their opportunity to be in religious leadership because they were out as gay or lesbian uh, or trans. And, and so we um, are honoring that uh, in, in a sense of uh, hosting that in the lobby at Temple Isaiah for Friday night uh, starting at 530 and then Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 4. So um, you can uh, visit the stoles and, uh, and, and have a good time in, in, in honoring the memory and just connecting with the spirit of each person as there's a card written on each of the stole stoles telling you know what their story is um, and then Sunday morning is Pride Weekend uh, I know I'm going through the litany of events but I mean it's Sunday morning of Pride Weekend is uh, you know we're we're in two places at once Bloom Worship Service uh, at 10 o'clock the Reverend Ron Geico a new member of Bloom retired Lutheran pastor is going to be the preacher and uh, Carl and Linda Toland are the worship leaders at the time, so uh, Bloom will be there and, and, and uh, ready to uh, welcome folks for worship. And then we will have our parade contingent with the golf cart for people who want to ride along, the um, uh, convertible, uh, as is our typical entrance, and other people can walk or carry signs and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, we can be together. It is one of the things I did want to share is uh, that during the worship service on Sunday morning, what we sing is kind of one of the hymns of the gay and lesbian movement called Ours the Journey. It was written by Julian Rush in the 1980s uh, when he was uh, the first out gay minister in the Methodist Church to receive an appointment from a bishop. He went from uh, 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 an appointment beyond the local church to a half-time appointment. Um, there, I have a relationship to that situation, but that's a whole nother different story. 
He wrote for um, a special aids service for their conference this song, Ours the Journey, the one that begins in the midst of new dimensions. And it's got the uh, uh, chorus that goes, God of Rainbow, Fiery Pillar, uh, Leading, Where the Eagles Soar, that one we all remember. Um, what's interesting is that in that hymn, the lyrics originally for that service, he had the phrase, we are gay and straight together. And at a certain point, uh, the Methodists straightwashed it and took that phrase out when they wanted to publish the lyrics uh, and publish this hymn in their um, little uh, alter, uh, uh, you know, additional hymn book that came out uh, called The Faith We Sing. Um, and it is unfortunate that then when the UCC adopted it for the New Century Hymnal, they used those words instead of the original words. So whenever we sing this hymn, we typically sing the original words that I got from Julian Rush and we have on file here. But we also have uh, the version that was written for the um, 2011 event of the Church Within a Church movement in Tucson, Arizona, the uh, Meeting and Extraordinary Ordination event. And it was written at that time and updated to include um, trans identity and uh, gender identities as a variation in our diversity as well. And so this Sunday, um, I just think it's really appropriate that given the news that's happening of the movements on the part of our government against transgender people, that we sing this hymn that talks about and includes the fact that in our diversity are also various gender identities. So that's a part of our connection uh, on this Sunday morning as well. It also opens a way for us to remember that on November 20th, it's a Monday night, we'll be here in Palm Springs, uh, the Transgender Day of Remembrance time. So these are important ways in which Bloom is uh, uh, doing our best to agitate for God's peace and justice around the globe and in our communities. We're doing our best to follow the ways of Jesus, the teachings of Jesus, as we do our ministries together. I hope you can be with us in all of these events or pick and choose the ones that work for you. If you can't be with us in body, please always be with us in spirit. And as I always say, please remember us in your prayers. Mm -hmm.